Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. So today in this video, I would like to share my experience with my master's in data science at Newcastle University. Now that I have submitted my dissertation, my master's is complete and uh, I'm in a good position to share what all things I did good, what things I did wrong and uh, some of the tips I will share by the end of the video so that you can make most out of your master's. So yeah, I hope you will find this video helpful. And if you are new here or if you are subscribed to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when our video goes live and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys so yeah with that being said let's start our discussion so let's start with good things uh, the things that i did uh, really well so before coming here i took applied ai course which uh, gave me a really good foundation of data science in general and uh, especially about the math mathematical part and uh, machine learning and deep learning part so as i had taken those courses and also before taking that course i had good uh, command over programming language like python so yes i knew all those things and when i came here for masters i was able to go through the study materials with a relatively faster pace as compared to other people in my batch and because of which i was able to give some time to my assignments as well so yeah that is something which i really appreciate uh, myself because i made a really good decision to take some sort of course uh, before coming here and uh, yeah that is something which i did really well so after that the next thing that i did uh, good was i used to start my assignment as soon as i used to get it so i used to start my assignment on day one and uh, i didn't know that the lot of weightage is been given to report writing so uh, I used to write my code, I used to try to optimize my code as much as I could, I used to document it very well and then I used to think that okay, report writing won't take much time but then when I used to start writing report writing, it used to take quite a lot of time. So the good thing is I used to start my assignment really early so because of which I had enough time to give it to report as well and because of which I was able to fetch uh, good marks in modules as well. Of course my reports in the beginning were not at the best level because I was still getting used to but still I had enough time to invest in that and then it was working really well for me. So that is something which I again appreciate and uh, that is a good decision that I made at that time. So the next thing that uh, I did really well is making good connections. I used to go to different meetups. I used to talk to people and in one of the meetup I met director of National Innovation Center of Aging and because of which I was able to get my internship. So he told he was working on some behavioral data and I told him I have interest in behavioral data and uh, also I like doing this data science stuff. I'm doing a data science course. So is there anything that I can do for you? So he was like, yes, I might be having an opening for uh, intern. So if you like, you can join me on this adventure and we can work together and we can see what we can do together. So yeah, it was a really good experience and that's how I was able to get my internship. So yeah, that is again something which I really like and something which I did well. The next thing I think is I helped a lot of people and uh, by helping them I was also able to learn what type of difficulties one can face and where they can stuck because most likely or in many times I won't get all the errors that are possible uh, so it's all it's very important to learn from others as well so I used to help as much as I could so whenever somebody used to ask for help I always used to help them so that is something I really appreciate and uh, also when I needed help I used to ask professors and friends and they used to help me also so that is something again I did really well so these are some of the things major things that I did really well there might be some other things but uh, I think these are the major things that I wanted to share and now let's move on to some of the things that I didn't do well and I could have done better so the first thing is uh, in most of the universities they offer optional modules and same is the case with Newcastle University as well so there was this one module which was cloud computing which I thought will be really helpful for me I will get to know different uh, cloud architecture and infrastructure but uh, ultimately it was just a, a data analysis project so it didn't really help much so but while selecting though that module I could have talked to my program director I could have talked to the module leader and some other professors and then I could have made the decision but I just went 
on with the module that it is a cloud computing module so i think it should help me so that was something uh, which was not helpful and the decision that i made was not that good uh, so yeah that is something which i don't uh, think i did very well the next thing that i think i didn't do well was uh, when i got first offer i stopped applying for jobs and i was just focusing on my masters and my internship and uh, then i thought okay i have an offer now so that's all right but uh, after when i when i came closer to the joining date the date got postponed so initially my joining was in october but then now it has moved on to january so if i had multiple offers i could have chosen any one of them and i don't have i didn't have to wait for that so now i'm applying for different companies and i'm waiting for another offer so that is something which i feel i didn't do very well and one last thing that i didn't do well or i should have done i didn't do it at all is something i didn't participate much in other extracurricular activities so in in the uk there are so many universities and each university will have their own uh, clubs and uh, unions and student unions and stuff so they have uh, different clubs like uh, if you want to join an indian society if you want to join pakistan society if you want to join bangladesh society if you want to join eu society uh, ireland society canada society whatever i mean it's just like you have society for literally all the regions so if you join uh, those societies you get to meet people you get to know their Uh, culture and it actually opens up your mind as well so it's a very good thing to involve in i focused mainly on my masters internship and youtube because i like sharing information with you guys so i focused on these things and because of which i didn't get much time for extracurricular activities but if you have time from your masters uh, you can you should definitely uh, involve in those kind of extracurricular activities So yeah these are some of the things which I didn't do very well. Uh now let's move on to some of the tips that I would like to give you so that it will help you in your master. So the first thing is uh get some prior knowledge rather than coming here with a white sheet. So if you have little bit of experience uh with let's say programming or uh, you went to lead code you did some programming so Uh, at least learn python or r programming which will definitely help you uh, in your masters so that is something which i uh, suggest everyone and the next thing is uh, try to help as many people as you can you know because that way you also make your own community that way people feel like okay you have certain type of knowledge and if you need some time help they will help you as well so it's a very good thing to help each other out and the other thing or the other tip that i want to give you is always start your assignment on day 1 as soon as you get your assignment work on it because uh here uh, the ma- major evaluation that is happening is based on your report so the marks you get the marks you lose it's all based on your report yes of course of course code uh, holds a certain weightage so you have to work on that as well but report is actually very important so when we are coming from some other country where writing report is not that usual so it becomes a little hard to uh, write good report so it's very important that you uh, give more time to your assignment and you start as soon as possible the other thing is make good connection because nowadays everything that all the opportunity that we are getting is based on uh connections so it's very important to go to meetups and talk to people and find relevant and good connections there and uh, the other tip is while selecting optional modules is very important you talk to your uh, program director or module leader so that you know better what each module is about and will it be helpful or not for you so it's very important to know about the module which you are picking so that is something which i would like to advise and last but not the least and the very important one keep applying until you have multiple offers so uh, apply for as many jobs as you can and don't stop when you have one offer keep applying for jobs as when you have like multiple offers at least two or three offers then you can maybe stop applying if you are satisfied with those opportunities so yeah this is very important and this is the biggest mistake that i did <laughs> um yeah so that's what i want to discuss in this video and if you want to join the live stream that i do on saturdays at 12 pm british summer time so feel free to join there i answer a lot of questions uh, there as well 
and if you want to download data science notes link is in the description you can download the data science notes and again you can join our telegram group uh, there we have a very beautiful community as well where we discuss about things uh, so yeah this is what i want to discuss in this video if you did like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, Subscribe to the channel, it's completely free and it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. Let's make this family a bigger family. <laughs> so yeah, see you in the next video. Bye, happy learning.